Hi friends, hi YouTube. If you're new here, hi, my name is Nikki. I love fun, bright, colorful makeup. Uh, I would love to have you subscribe if you haven't. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. It is oh, what it is. But today is a little series, a little segment that I like to call Mish Mash Monday. It is where I take two palettes from my collection. I random number generate either three shades from each or one shade that I really want to use from one palette and then five shades from the other. This week I chose the Nomad Haunted Europe palette. It looks like this. This is the color story. Absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my absolute favorites in my collection. These shades just they have my heart. And then the other palette is the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Surge palette which looks like this. I ended up creating this look right here. You know with a little help of the Blend Bunny Not To Loosen palette. You can't go wrong with it. You know I love a good shimmer. I'm addicted to it. So if you would like to see how I got this look uh, then let's get into it. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome to this week's installment of Mish Mash Monday. The palettes for this week are Blend Bunny Surge, which looks like this, and then the Nomad Haunted Europe. I really just love and adore this palette, and I will make any excuse to take it out and use it. If you're new here and you don't know what Mish Mash Monday is, Mish Mash Monday is where I take two palettes from my collection and I random number generate shades from each. Sometimes it's three from one palette and three from the other. Sometimes there's like one shade that I really want to use out of one palette. And then I random number generate the rest of the shades out of the other palette. Uh, today is a three and three, so three from this one and then three from this one. So, uh, Let's go pick our shades. So we're going to start with the Blend Bunny Surge palette, which looks like this. There's 30 shades in this one, so 29. That is that shade right there called Energy, that wonderful bright blue. Next is 20. 20 is that shade right there called Zip It Up, that gorgeous gold shimmer. I almost said glimmer. I'm hoping, like, when I do these, they just stay in, like, the same number range. So I'm hoping that, like, you know, I've gotten one from this row. I've gotten one from this row. I would love to get something from up here. But I know that the number gods aren't on my side. See? 25. Number 25 is that shade right there called Shocked. Oof. The Nomad palette has 18 shades, so... Five. Five, which is this shade right here called Ghost River. One, which is that shade right there called Mary King's Clothes. Okay, give me something good. 16. That is that shade right there called Black Forest. This color story. My god. So this is the color story. I'm thinking I can make this work just kind of like when I was playing that I was like mm. but honestly I can I can see something okay I can see it we're speaking mom we're, we're on speaking terms now there's like okay we're doing good I think this is gonna be fun it's really different shades I really don't think I would have pulled together but I think that's really just the fun of doing these every single week is that it's a lot of the time colors that I wouldn't have chosen together like to put together. So as always, I'm going to prime with my REM Beauty Concealer in Fair 2N and then set it with a Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Translucent Powder. Oh my gosh. I think to start, I'm going to go in with this Mary King's Clothes shade right here. This good creamy tan. And I'm going to go in with a very used <laughs> Refer 13. Mine is just, mine need to be cleaned, okay? Like, it is what it is. But I'm going to tap my brush into that. And I'm going to plop that into right here into the crease. So I have a little bit of that on the eyes. I think I'm just going to go in with this Ghost River shade right here and plop that into that area too. Now that I have that sort of done, I'm going to blend those together. So I'm going to go in ever so slightly with that Black Forest shade right there into the crease too. I really want to use the bright neons, like the blue and the yellow in here and like the gold and all that stuff. 
but I need to incorporate the blue. So I'm going to pop a little bit of that black forest shade into the crease right here. And then I'm going to go in with my Refer 14 and blend these together. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of that Black Forest shade. Not a lot, but I'm going to deepen it out a little. And I might take just a little bit on my brush and just drag it down this way a little. And then again, going in with my Refer 14 and blending it all. So now I'm going to go in with that energy shade from the Blend Bunny Serge palette. And I'm going to plop that on to this area of the eye with a brush that looks like this. I'm plopping that into this portion of the eye. I want a lot of color payoff from this, so I'm going to keep plopping it until I get what I want. So I'm like, I'm fucking with this, okay? So now I'm really tempted because I really wanted to put this yellow uh, shocked shade in here. But... I don't know, should I put the shimmer in here and then that in there? I don't know. I don't know. This is why I always wish I had somebody like here to be like, hey, you should do this. I guess that's why I have friends. But I really want to put that bright color in there. So you know what, screw it. We're going to go in with that Zip It Up shade right there. We're going to be taking that on a brush that looks like this. Again, all my brushes need to be cleaned. I'm lazy. I just did all the dishes. I feel like that's a tad bit more important. I don't know. I'm going to be taking that Zip It Up shade again and plopping it into this area of the eye right here. There's a lot of fallout right now. Okay, so I'm going to go over that with some of that shocked shade right there. Again, on the same brush after I cleaned it off. And then just swoop it over that. So because this is my idea and my face, I'm going to cheat. I always cheat. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of that blue shade, that blue shimmer right there, and plop that on. Just because I think that's going to look so good with blending these two together. So yeah, I know that I'm cheating. It is what it is. But um, again, it's my channel. My idea. And I feel like a lot of, like, a lot of the times... I'm really stuck in like a rut, so having a mishmash Monday to just give me the colors kind of gives me the inspo that I need. So if I do feel like adding some more stuff, then you know what, that's a good thing because that means like things are moving and it's creativity, you know? That's what this is all about. So I'm really liking how it's looking though. Again, I feel like this was needed, okay? It was needed. I feel like I look extra pale than normal because, like, my curtains on the side are open, but it is what it is. This is, like, where I'm at. Um, I did put a little bit more of that Black Forest shade in here just to kind of give it, just to kind of give it some more depth. I think I'm going to go in with the Unearthly Cosmetics Blush Palette. This is from the Valentine's Day Collection. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking maybe this one. I wanted something more yellowy. So then I was thinking, well, I do have this orange Sherbert BH Cosmetics palette. And I was thinking, well, <laughs> this is the closest I'm going to get. So I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of this tangerine shade. So if I'm not going in with a lot, but we're just going to... That's not bad. I think that's cute. Oh my gosh. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of liner in here. So I'm going in with a like girl shockwave neon eyeliner in electric and in screaming. I'm thinking I'm going to put like the blue here and yellow kind of like I did up here. Hopefully. So I'm liking how this is looking without like putting any shadow down here. But I do think I'm going to go in with that shocked shade right there and plop that into the inner corner. 
So I am dragging a little bit of that shock shade into the under eye right here. Just kind of where in the yellow spot where I have the liner. And then I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of that energy shade right there and plop it under here too. So I'm going to go in with the Blend Bunny Knock to Loosen Highlight Palette. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to get it to show you. Okay. Really, men? Really, this is what we're going to do? We're going to cause noises when I'm trying to film? Wow, what a surprise. Uh, but I think I'm going to go in with a mix of the blue and the yellow highlight for today. That is Enlighten and Apparition. I'm starting with Apparition right up here. And then going in with a little bit of Enlighten down here. And then I'll be taking a little bit of that Enlighten shade and plopping that a little bit over this yellow because I'm extra and I need a shit ton of glitter and shine. Oh, and then I think because just for fancies, I'm going to go in with a little bit of apparition here. Hmm. And just pop that right here. Again, I mean, I use all the shades. My my channel, my rules. I feel so shiny. So this is the final completed look. I absolutely adore it. I ended up putting on this ColourPop Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain in Sugar Snap. I don't know if these are available anymore, but I think I, I think this just like it turned out really good. Even before I put the not to loosen palette on, but if you know anything about me, I'm addicted to that palette and I'm gonna plop it on anywhere and everywhere. And men are mowing. Disrespectfully, my gosh. Uh, but I love how this look turned out. I messaged Shawnee, like I showed her my colors. I try I sometimes do that. Um, and she was like, You should you should regenerate. And I was like, No, no, I've got this. And I did, I did. I do think I could have pulled in that darker blue. Um, the black forest shade a tad bit more and the um, zip it up shade right there, but I did use them and I can always just pop a little bit. You know what? I will. Boom. Bam. Okay. But I really like how this look turned out. I think it came out super stunning, super pretty. It reminds me of Dory. You can't go wrong with anything really that pulls into from Disney. But if you made it to this point of the video, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I really appreciate just all the love that you guys have given me. I mean, I'm at freaking 330 subscribers. That's insane. So just thank you so much for being on this journey with me. So just a few things before you go. Remember to not be homophobic. Don't be transphobic. Don't be racist. Just don't be a piece of shit. There's better things to be doing with your time and your money than hating and being a bigot over things that you do not like, the things that you do not understand. Um, you know, put that energy, that money that vibe just all that anger into something that actually matters rather than just being an absolute asshat and remember to take care of you there's so many things being asked of you and being put into this universe that you need to remember to take care of you you need to remember to do things for you you come first remember that okay okay so thank you again for making it to this point in the video i absolutely love and appreciate it i mean you mean so much to me this means so much to me. I hope you come and watch my next video or go watch my old past ones, you know? Uh, but just a reminder to be good, do good, and I can't wait to see your face next time.